Hi guys, welcome to today's YouTube tutorial all about events and how to offer your events or workshop using your Squarespace website. I'm Kerstin Begley, website creation coach and your click by click tech guide. So I had a client the other day, she wanted to create events or workshops um, and she wanted to have custom URLs for her different types of events. She was told to create a subdomain with a 301 redirect which doesn't have to be done like that and I'm showing you a different way which is more simple easier to do and it's done via your Squarespace website so let's do it first of all I'm going to click into a not linked section and in, into the plus sign I don't want to click in here because I don't want that link that new page to appear in the navigation bar just yet um, and because it's going to be live straight away so let's do that in the not linked section click on the plus sign and click on events and here is where you name it for example events just for um, demonstration purposes and here is where you create your event but before we do that i want to quickly go back here right click or go onto the little gear here Hang on, just to show you. Either here or just right click, it's up to you. Sorry about that, that was just another client. Okay, so right click, like what I just said, and then go into list and choose list view or, or calendar view. So list view is this, and calendar view would be this, which is also quite nice. And uh, people can just click in here to get more information. But this would probably work more when you've got lots of events or uh, workshops. So in my case, I have two upcoming workshops right now. So I'm going to leave it in list view because I don't think that's going to be anymore for the moment. So we leave it at the list view. Click save. Okay. And now we go into the events and I'm going to create a new event. In my case, for example, I could call it, let me see what I called it here, build a site workshop at my place. So then I'm going to choose a date. So let's say I wanted to do that on the 31st of July. I wanted to start at 10 a.m. or 10.30, 10 a.m. And here I'm going to choose the end time, 11 a.m. Let's say I'm going to do it for an hour, but a, a workshop might probably be a couple of hours. So let's say it's going to end at 2 p.m. So there you go. And now I can write in here whatever I want and what I like to offer. In the options tab, I can add an image, a thumbnail. It will pop up like this here. So it looks quite pretty. So let's add the image. Here it is. Click and wait until it's loading. And then the image will come up when we have it in list view to make it look a little bit pretty. Okay, there it is. Great. And now here is where you can uh, customize your URL. So in this case, I would make it really short and call it my place. So now the URL is castingbegley.com my place. So if I click in here, see how that URL is nice and customized and nice and small workshops my place. The other um, workshop would be, for example, workshop online, which I would have created yesterday to create this video. So again, I can share this um, URL with my people. It says what it does on the tin, which is perfect. So next thing would be to add the excerpt here, because right now what it would look like is um, like this here. Again, I'm going to go back into here. And this would be empty, but I want there to be a little bit of uh, a text for people to be enticed to click for more. So let's do that. This is where that goes. Now I am going to click in here and say, tell, not to click in here. I'm just going to just type, tell me more. And I'm going to add a link because I want them to be able to click in here for more information. They are going to, they can also click in here to get more information to get into the main site for this particular workshop, or they can click here. But I also want them to have a little um, option to click here, tell me more, just because that's just me. You don't have to, but that's just me. So I'm going to get the direct URL. In this case, it's the workshops my place in the example place. Yeah, events my 
place. So let's do the example link. It's not workshops, it's events. So we have the right URL. And I'm going to click open in a new window. Again, you don't have to, that's just me. I want that to be opening in a new window so they can always come back to this workshop site like this. So if you click for more, see, look here how that opens in a new window. That's what I mean. Click. No, it doesn't because I didn't click add a new, um, open a new window. So, but you get, you know what I mean. Okay, let's do that. Did I do open in a new window? Yes. I'm going to click save and publish because I am done. No, actually, we go into loca location. So if that was my place, which it is, I would put in my address here. And business name and address and so on and social but I never share my products um, socially because I like to manually share them wherever I want and not automatically share them on Facebook because then I don't have any control over it and um, I just want to do it manually so I'm going to click save and publish so I can show you what that will look like now see there you go that's one workshop done. You also can uh, actually, before I forget, then add your button here because you want a call to action there. So your call to action in this case, maybe a form. You want them to add their email or yes, the email address into your, uh, to get notified about your new workshop. So let's do that. I'm going to um, call it get notified. And I don't want the first name and the last name, so I'm going to delete that. That's what uh, Squarespace does by default. Um, I don't want that. I just want the first name. So I'm going to move that up there over the email address. Do that again. And click required. I want the first name to be required. I don't need a subject field. I don't need a message field. So that's it. And I want that button. I want that form to go away. I want there to be only a button. So I go into advanced and make that into a button, see, enable light box, and now I can name it, and get notified, I will do that in capital letters, because that's just me, and then click apply, but before we do that, we are linking it to MailChimp, so in this case, you can also email it, or get an email sent, so connect it to, me, to your email address, you can connect it to your Google Drive, I don't usually use SAP here, for this kind of thing, I want to keep it simple, but uh, in my case, MailChimp is the easiest option. So I'm logging into MailChimp and then my lists appear. So I only have one list, all the other lists are customers, and I'm going to require double opt-in after subscribing because I want to comply with the new GDPR law. So apply, and then I'm going to quickly add a spacer here and move that over there so that I can move that little button into the middle a little bit. And um, now we click save. See how that is black because it's in this um, editing window in the editing mode. So I'm going to click save. And now when I click into here, that button is actually orange in my colors. It's just that it's the editing mode. So now that I have everything, everything set up, all the buttons, the call to action button, I've linked it to my MailChimp. So it's all good, all ready to go. And I can save and now it's already saved. It's already published. Hang on. Yep. Let me see our new events page that we just created. It's right here. See? And now, so I don't have to do that with every single new event because I want to offer two events or three event, events or four events. It would be quite a job to do that with every single event. All you need to do is click edit, duplicate, and then wait. And now you can already see how it says copy off. You can already change it. In this case, it's going to be online. And then you do your content for your other workshop. This is the online version workshop and so on. So you would put all your content in here. You go into options, you upload your image for your online workshops. So let's say, for example, in this case, it may be this one, different, a different image. And then you wait. 
and see how the little numbers come up, come up here by default by Squarespace. So you just change that to online. And there you have your customized URL, castingbeckley.com events online. So which is a URL you can share. Um, and that same thing will happen with your um, customers, with your own URL. So that's your customized URL. Let's see how that looks now. Again, we go into events. And it's not saved yet, so it's still the same. I just want to be able to click refresh and show you that way. And you would put your excerpt here for your new event that you've just done here, that you've just added here. And here you would obviously um, add the URL of this particular event. So in this case, it may be castingback.com events. I'm just copying it, copying it from up there. So just from here, see? And just say castingbeckley.com in the front. Again, open in a new window, add a link, and now that's added. So, but you would have to change that here for this particular event, which I haven't done. Um, and then we go into location. And this is online, so I'm not even going to put any address in here. Social, again, I wouldn't be sharing it because I only want to share it with, with um, a certain group, for example. I don't want that to appear on, uh, of, on, on any of my social media accounts. So I'm going to click save and public, save and publish because I'm done. And then we are going to click refresh and I show you what that would look like. See? There you go. You have your second event um, created just by duplicating it. See how that is the same date? We don't want that. Let's change the date. I forgot. So let's do that now. Go into edit. Change the date to maybe a couple of days later, 6th of August, 10 o'clock, same time, 2 p.m., same time, save. And that's it. Let's click refresh. And the time has changed. See? Easy peasy. Okay, I hope it helped. I hope it made a bit of sense. Um, let me know if there's anything else I can show you or um, if you want me to create a new tutorial for you for next week. Make sure to sign up or subscribe to this YouTube channel and also join my Facebook group, my free Facebook community of like-minded entrepreneurs and new Squarespace users. So let's do it. Subscribe, join my group, let's connect. I will talk to you next week.